What's going on, boys and girls? We're going to make a sweet potato, um, no need yeast bread. Of course, we're going to have to knead it a little bit because you got to get the sweet potatoes mixed in with it. It's a very simple recipe. It does take a little bit of time. Some of the steps I'm not going to show you, like the baking of the sweet potato. You can bake them however you want to. You can boil them if you want to. They say baking them preserves a lot of the nutrients, so I baked mine for about 45 to 50 minutes in about a 400 degree oven kind of greased them down and covered them up and, and they came out just really really tender then I mashed them up and then we're going to show you the recipe from there all right it is a fairly simple recipe of course we're making a bread um, we're going to start off with some um, bread flour we're going to have about three cups of that we got our sweet potatoes right here they're already mashed um, we've got some salt we're going to use about a tablespoon uh, or teaspoonful of, of salt. We got some yeast here. This is the fast acting yeast. You've seen me use that before. We're going to use some hot water. I've got the temperature thing in there. If you, if you see 105, you don't want it to be scalding hot because it will deactivate the yeast. And then we've got some, um, this right here is just some organic, uh, pure cane sugar. So first of all, you've got to, you've got to, um, activate your yeast by putting it in the water. All right, the yeast that I'm going to be using is Sapphire Saf Instant Yeast. Um, I bought it online. Um, it works real well. It keeps for a long time. You can put it in the refrigerator. We're going to use, um, again, one and a half cups of water, of warm water. And you don't want real hot. That means you can stick your finger in here and it's not going to burn you. So that's about 105 degrees. We're going to put about one tablespoon full of our yeast and just kind of spread it over the top. And then we're going to wait for it to become kind of frothy. So we'll come back after it comes. And that takes about five to ten minutes. Now something else I've seen on other videos is they cover it up sometimes. And I don't know if that makes a big difference, but we're going to cover this up as well. Heck, I was sitting down in the other room before I... I don't spill it. If I even thought about it, but if you can, if you look at it closely, guys, it's already starting to become kind of frothy. Already, and that's kind of what you want. All righty, guys, that's been a little bit more than ten minutes. I was <laughs> got to watching television, but look how frothy that is now. That's what you want it to look like. So that has been activated there. So now what we're going to do is add our other ingredients to it. So we're going to start off with a half of a tablespoon. I think I said a teaspoon a little while ago. So half of a tablespoon. And they say you don't want to use sea salt. So this is just regular canning or pickling salt. And that's about a half a tablespoon. And we're going to use, and this, that gives it flavor. And we're also going to use, let me wipe off my spoon here. We're also going to use a little bit of sugar in there. We're going to use about four, three to four tablespoons. Depends on, you know, sweet potatoes are sweet anyway. So I'm going to go with one, two, three tablespoons of sugar we're going to use a little bit of nutmeg in it as well too about half of a half of a tablespoonful and then we're going to mix all this up together the good thing is the salt and the sugar will help to activate that yeast a little bit more And then we're going to add our flour and our potatoes. Now, this is really a no knead recipe, so we're not going to do a whole lot of kneading, but we're going to have to get that sweet potato mixed in to this. So we're going to have to knead it just a little bit. All right, so we're going to take about three cups of our flour, and this is bread flour. Okay, 
Okay, three cups of that. And I always put mine in a plastic bag just so the flour can get kind of messy and it kind of protects it somewhat. So I always put mine in a plastic bag like this. All right, now we're gonna add our sweet potato. Now this is about two cups. You can do one and a half, but we're gonna use two cups. And I just went on and, and put it in this cup. I had it in a bowl, so I put it in this cup here. Now this is where it's probably gonna get messy. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're just gonna mix this in, just kind of cut it in there with it. Now you could probably do this in a, one of those food processors with a, a dough blade on it. Probably would work a lot better. Matter of fact, I have one. I should have used it. This, this is gonna work. You know, I'm seriously thinking about getting that food processor out. <laughs> Seriously thinking about getting that food processor out. All right. But you know, what did they do back in the day when they didn't have any, any food processors? They did it by hand, so. But they don't mean I got to do it by hand. We got those things now. We got the knowledge and forethought to go in and get that food processor out and do it that way. Okay. I'm going to rethink this, guys. All right. Yeah. You don't buy the stuff if you ain't going to use it, right? So we're going to put this. I got the dough blade in there, guys. Just so that you'll see, this is the dough blade here. Add this in. This is going to be a lot better here. Okay. I don't use this very much, but like I said, I got it. So I might as well use it. But this is, again, this is supposed to be a no-need bread, but... I really think when you mix stuff in like this, you, you're going to have to knead it a little bit. All right, let's put our top on here. Snap it in place, going to pulse it a little bit. All right, guys, I'll tell you something, I'll tell you how, how ignorant I am. Now I was sitting here and you probably, you guys probably saw me doing this. I turned it on, tried to turn it, tried to get it to pulsate and it wouldn't pulsate. It wouldn't start or nothing. It says on the screen, insert pusher, but, but I didn't know this A food processor will not work if the handle is pointed toward the back. So let's turn this off. Take this. I don't use this very much, so bear with me. Take this. Handle's got to be in the front. Turn it on, and we're going to pulse a little bit. Look at that. We learned something. So we're going to do that until it gets nice and smooth, and then we'll come back. All right, so now we can start to add our our yeast solution. And look, look what's happened to it, guys, since we've added the sugar and the water to it. And the salt is really activated now. So now we're gonna we're gonna add this to there a little bit at a time. Add just a little bit and pulse it. So we're gonna put all of this in there.
I got a feeling we're going to have to add some more bread flour to this. But that show sure ain't looking like no dough, is it, y'all? All right. Yeah, I think I made a boo-boo. I think I'm going to have to add more flour to that. So maybe there was a reason why they said don't put so much um, sweet potatoes in there. Um, because you really, you're getting a liquefied dough. So we're going to have to adjust this some. All right, guys, I'm going to add another cup of flour to this. I'm going to start off with a half a cup first. Start off with a half a cup here. I think Tracy is messing up bad. Tracy is messing up bad. Tracy is messing up bad. He don't know what he's doing. It's still liquefied. <laughs> so we're going to add some more. I guess we can do it through the top here. That two cups didn't work either. You know, this might end up being a blooper video here. We're going to add four cups. Looking like down there. I know it don't look like dough to me. We may not share this video. All right, I'm gonna keep on showing this video because I think I, I think I overloaded my processor. But we're gonna pour this out. We're gonna attempt to pour it out. If it'll pour out, we're going to get this bread to mix, guys. We're going to get it to mix if we have to add flour to it all day long. I know what I'm going to have to do here. So I don't want you to see the big mess I'm making here. But I think that's going to be a little bit too soupy. So because it doesn't have enough flour in it. So we may have to do some of it by hand. All right, guys, that almost was that was almost a big disaster. I had to take it out of here because I overloaded my, my dog home food processor because I, I tried to be a smart butt and um and said, well, you know what? Two cups of two cups of sweet potatoes ought to do just as well as one cup because all the recipes I saw said three cups of flour and one cup. Of sweet potatoes. So I was a smart ass and I was like, well, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put two cups of sweet potatoes. Well, it made it too moist. So what I had to do is add flour to this until I got it to this consistency right here, guys. And I have had to yeet, um, knead it a little bit. Now you're gonna have to let this rest because we want that yeast to activate in here. So we're gonna let, we're gonna cover this up and we're gonna let it rest. And I'm gonna come back in about an hour and that thing is probably gonna be a darn monster coming out of this bowl right here because I've got about five cups of flour in this monstrosity right here. But we're gonna we're gonna get it right, guys. We're gonna get it right. But we're gonna let it we're gonna let it rise. Then we're gonna put it in our bowls. And this is probably not gonna be a thing where we're gonna do everything in one day. So um, we may have to cut this. Well, you you guys won't notice it, but we're gonna come back here in about an hour. Alrighty guys, that thing has kind of doubled or um, it hadn't tripled, but it's almost doubled in half. I was afraid, I, was, I thought I was going to have to add some more yeast to it to make it come out right because I was afraid it wasn't going to rise. And it, um, um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch it down and I'm going to divide it up individually and put it in a, put it in a, um, a different container that I'm going to cook it in and I'm going to let it rise again.
All right, we're going to take get our pre-seasoned pans here. I'm trying to make sure the camera feels good. I'm going to spray some. Ooh, I almost dropped that. Spray some cooking spray. I'm here to get these things coated real good. All right, coat it real good. We don't want them to stick to the inside of that. Now we're going to sit these off to the side. And we're going to punch this. Punch this. Get some of that air out of it. And we're going to split it. I had a thing that you could split this thing with, but I don't see it right now. So we'll use a spatula here. I thought I had, no, we, I said we'll use this here. And we're going to come right down the middle of this. It's still kind of sticky. I hope I'm, I'm not about to make a mess here, and I think I am. But again, this is supposed to be a no need flour. It's about to be no need. I don't need to make no more. Well, it's not stick, not really sticking to my hand. Yeah, somebody that knows how to how to do this crap is probably sitting back laughing at me, saying, look at this fool. Look at this fool trying to get this flower out of here. And again, it's not sticking bad, but it's sticking. All right, we're going to roll this a little bit. I'm trying not to add flour to it. We're going to stick it in there. And guys, I know you guys that know what the heck you're doing know that I'm not doing this correctly. <laughs> I know somebody's out there saying, look at this fool messing with, messing up this bread. And see, this one's kind of bigger than the other one too. So I'm a, I might add just a little bit. Somebody's like, uh oh, don't do that. Don't do that. We doing it, doggone it. I said, I don't know if I should be doing it or not. And we're gonna put the other one in here. And this one ought to come out a lot better here. Yeah. All right. It's supposed to be sticky, guys. Now, I did read that much about how to do it. I've only done bread a few times, and I usually do simple breads. But it is supposed to be sticky. I don't know if it's supposed to be this sticky. And this is sticky. All right, we're going to try to get this. All right. Now, we're going to wash some of this. Oh, help, help, help. Oh, I almost screwed up. I almost screwed up. Yep. The new angle of the camera. The new angle of the camera. Almost slipped and fell. It did slip and fall. Help! Help me! Okay, I'm screwing up. You know what? I'm going to leave that little blooper in there. <laughs> Just because this is this is modern broadcasting, guys. So we're going we're gonna to smooth this out just a little bit. Like I said, it's going to be, I guess the taste is what I'm concerned about. So we're going to just kind of even it out somewhat. Maybe I shouldn't be beating it like this. Maybe that's not the right thing to do. But I don't think I can mess this up any more than I've already messed it up. And maybe I haven't messed it up, guys. All right. We're going to let that rest. I'm going to cover going to cover them up lightly um, just so that they'll, they'll rise a little bit, do a second rise. And we're probably going to cook these in the morning. All right, I was about to go to bed, but I wanted to show you what the bread was doing. So it's still rising, guys. So I'm not too, I don't feel too bad about it. It's still rising inside the oven. So 
I don't think we made a bad choice. All right, I took these things out. And I'm kind of whispering this morning because it's like 10 till 5 in the morning. I took these things out. And this is what they look like. Like they fell a little bit. But we're going to preheat the oven to two, 375, 375 degrees and cook it till they're golden brown and kind of hollow in the middle. All right, guys, this is what they look like. They look exactly like they look when I took them out of the, out of the oven last night. I probably should have. When this thing right, um, rose up last night is probably when I should have cooked. I didn't expect them to be falling down like that. Um, now that one, that one doesn't look too bad right there. They're hollow on the inside. And I guess the true test is what do they taste like? So we're going to put them on a cooling rack and, and see what they taste like. I think they're going to taste like crap. I really do. And this is an, an experiment of what not to do. Uh, when you're making bread, follow the follow the instructions do what you're supposed to do do the right proportions especially when you're trying to mix powdered and wet substances together so yeah this is i may not even share this video but but i think i will because somebody else has probably done this before all right they came out pretty easy but i wanted to show you guys me taking this one out it's hot as hell come out it looks good the bread actually looks good but that right there, just that little lip on it, that don't look good. These things work, work real well. Um, they're hot as heck right now, but they work real well as far as um, not sticking and all that. So I want to show you these cast iron. That looks good. All right, guys. The true test, again, is, is what do they taste like? Do they taste like bread? All right, guys, the bread is cool for about an hour or so. And we're going to cut. We'll cut to the ugly one first. Now, this part right here, that's got a nice crust. And so that it comes out evenly, I want to cut it like this. That, that don't sound too good, does it? <laughs> All right, crust is good. It's nice and soft on the inside. I just want an even. All right. Let's eat a piece of the bread. I don't even know where to start. We're going to get, let's do this part right here. Well, we'll just cut off. Taste it. You know what? It ain't that bad. Got a little bit of a nutmeg flavor. I can taste the nutmeg. It's it's soft. Got a nice little crunch on the outside. But overall, it's not that bad. It's um kind of dense, I would imagine. But it's edible. You know, that's not too bad, so. I'm not going to complain. My wife will probably love it because she likes breads like this. So that's pretty good. Okay. Ne but again, the next time we're not going to, to do the bread like this. We're going to stick with the recipe, stick with the, the amount of wet. Cause I think if you can control the amount of wet that's in there, um, you can control the amount of the flour that you have to put in there, but it did rise real good. It's real soft right here. So, not too bad. I didn't screw it up too bad. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you the next time.